already read the title to this video, so you know what's going to go down. Today we're going to be doing a low resolution image for my guy at Trap Moon. Um, I'm going to put his uh, IG tag at the bottom so you guys can go check him out. He makes some pretty cool clothing. Um, but basically, he gave us this image, so I'm supposed to make it to a sticker, but sometimes you're going to get low resolution images from people. And it's, it's going to be kind of a pain, but there's an easy solution to it. So I'm going to take it to the trace tool. As you can see, nothing's coming up. I'm going to lower the threshold. Same thing. Look at that. Oh, well, let's do this. Let's do this first. Normally what I'd ask you to do is I'd ask you to go to the trace area, right? And then trace and detach. After you lower the threshold, trace and detach. And this will come up, which is not what you want. So what we're going to do is, is we're basically going to recreate this whole image, but we're going to make it a way better quality than it was beforehand. You're welcome, Trap Moon, if you're watching this. Let's lower that threshold. That looks about good. I bet. Now we're going to trace it. Now when we're making it, we still have to keep the original image next to it so we can have a reference point. But these look about the same. Let's release compound path. And basically we're literally just gonna fill in all the colors. Looking for us, there's this handy dandy tool right here that allows me to just bam find the color on the original image. I don't have to you know go through the whole color wheel or anything. I could just go through the original image and then copy the color. Bam. At this point, your your color's already been saved the way you're on your palette. All you're doing is just filling in the colors. Fill. I'm gonna fast forward just a little bit. I want the pumpkins, these two pumpkin things to be as close to the skeleton as possible because I want it to be one whole sticker. So this, this is not close enough. Let's release the compound. This isn't even, these just, this isn't as straight as it should be. So let's ungroup one more time. Let's bring these two pumpkins together as one group. Let's, ooh. Scoop this bad boy. Let's move it just a little bit to the right, a little bit closer to the skeleton. And then bam, scoop everything together. Use that outline tool. Hopefully it touches so it can be one whole sticker. Beautiful. But we don't want these little cut areas. We want this to come out as one. Ooh, oops. That happens sometimes. Bam. Beautiful. And then our finishing touch is going to be to make this outline black. So it kind of resembles the original image. Let's take this off. And then we're going to change the border cut to black. Bam. There's the whole sticker right there. Boom. Now you can print it out, cut it out, and give it to your customer. Yeah, so now I'm I'm gonna have a lot more videos like this coming soon. Let me know in the comments if you guys need anything, any questions. Um the beat is probably gonna be by my friend Jaden. Uh, his link's probably gonna be in the bio. And my make sure you follow my personal page, Made in Maryland, and thanks for watching.